Right, <clears throat> so first thing I've got to do is mount the neck to the body. It's a four bolt neck, or in this case, screws. I've already put in the uh, <coughs> these recessed metal uh, plates. There's not a, not a one piece plate on here, it's actually four recessed. Um, they're actually quite loose, but that's not a problem. Uh, I will uh, be able to take them out again so that I can do the refinishing, but I'm going to put them in for now so I don't screw in <coughs> to the neck too far. Uh, I've already marked where this hole is on the neck. Uh, I think it's that one, or it might, actually might be that one, come to think of it. Um, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to drill this out. I'm going to make a start with this. Like so. Right, this is flat down on the surface, so there's, I'm not putting any stress on anywhere. And I'm now going to drill out a pilot hole. Now, as you can see, I've actually got a depth gauge on here, so I don't drill in too far. So, we're going to make a start. So. That's our first pilot hole. And it's a little on the small side, so I'm actually going to increase the size of it a little bit. And there we go. Right, we're ready now to put this first screw in. So, body. very gently make sure that I push the neck as far as I can is drill out the other three holes and go from there. As you can see the neck is now screwed onto the body and we have a guitar. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some pencil lines down either side of the neck so that I know exactly where the bridge is going to be mounted. Out. The bridge is going to go on about here, but I need to mark so that I know exactly where the bridge needs to go. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is mark the edge of the neck, so get my ruler straight on, hold it down. So I've just got a very faint line here, a very faint line here, and that tells me where the edge of the neck is. So we need to fit the bridge so that it is absolutely between those faint lines. So it's going to be about there. Now we also need to make sure that it's the correct length from where the nut will be, and it has to be, as I said, 34 inches, or if you're dealing with metric, that's 864 millimeters. So that's what we're going to measure next. Get my ruler right where the edge of the nut will be, which is there. Get it down to the center of the neck. And I'm going to use the fretboard markers to show me where the center of the neck is. I'm going to move the bridge so that the so that this saddle here 
is 864 millimeters. It's there. Now let's make sure that I've got the bridge lined up with the marks for the neck. And I'm using the inside part of this bridge on both sides to show me where that is. Let's double check this again. Shift it just slightly back. Right, now we're just going to quickly make sure the bridge is square. And we're going to do that by measuring without pressing that is just over two centimeters 20 mil from the double check the actual position to make sure that we still have got 864 860 it's actually moved which is why it's worth double checking okay that's 864 and that's it that is now in the correct position so what I'm going to do now is carefully hold the bridge so it doesn't move and I'm going to mark the mounting holes. Now I'm not actually going to do anything else with this other than drill these out now. Oops. Let's hope if you don't break the lid off. Which I've just done again. Hopefully that will be alright. <sighs> yep, that's okay. And we now have where the drill holes are for the bridge. Make sure I get it smack in the centre of the hole. So now we can actually start to think about getting on with the finishing, which will require a bit of sanding. That will be our next job. Right, to finish off today, a bit of sanding. I did say I was going to let you watch that, but you really need to know everything that's involved with building a kit guitar and sanding is probably the main thing you're going to be doing. So, here we go. I'm doing this by hand rather than using an electric sander. It should be an orbital sander because I actually prefer to do this by hand. It gives me much better control over what's going on. And I'm not likely to overdo it. Now there's no problem with this particular guitar as this is solid wood. If you had a kit guitar which had uh, a veneer top um, you would have to be very very careful when you are sanding it to make sure that you don't go through the veneer because the veneers are not deep. They're not like a solid top. And you need to be aware that you need to be very, very careful. Now one of the things I'm actually doing here is getting rid of all the pencil marks. I want to make sure that all the pencil marks are gone 
and there's a couple of marks on the body where it's got well not knocked but something's laid on it it's actually done something to the wood so as you see I've got rid of all the pencil marks here well, almost all the pencil marks are on there trying to keep it flat so that you don't have any bumps rises and falls in the body and sanding as much as you can with the grain on these flat surfaces Um, pipe insulation. Doing the edges. It tends to mould itself much more to the curves than the hard, even though this is only cork, it's much harder than this. This is like a foam. Now I'm going to leave that as it is for the moment, just give a quick dust down. I'm going to give the neck a quick sand, um, ready to wet that down for what hopefully will be the last time. So I'm going to, going to stop recording now while I just finish that.